So guys, uh, we have uh, done our analysis uh, and uh, we have generated our, you can say, embeddings and our model. Uh, now I'm going to, you can say, impl implementing the web application. Okay, so for that uh, here in this project directory, I will open my, uh, I will open my uh, Visual Code Studio. Uh, so in this project, I'm using this uh, VS Code Studio, uh, Visual Code Studio, but you can use uh, PyCharm or another, you can say, code editor, which is fine. So, and uh, let me open my terminal here. So here I'm using bash terminal, uh, git bash terminal, but you can uh, use your another terminal, okay. And uh, whatever I will be, you can say creating file and you can save uh, folders. So you can uh, uh, create it from here also, okay. So these are some button you can create. Uh, but I will be using my terminal here because uh, most of the time I use my terminal, okay. I like my terminal. Now, uh, first of all, uh, let's uh, create an environment, okay, uh, create a virtual environment. Then in that virtual environment, we'll be uh, doing our all the setup, okay. So for that, just I will be writing conda uh, create hyphen hyphen prefix. Uh, why I'm uh, using that command uh, I've never prefix because uh, if you use the default you can say uh, conda commands for creating you can say virtual uh, virtual environment so it will uh, you can say create the environment uh, in your uh, you can say C drive itself okay but I don't want that so if you are creating in your C drive directory so your you can say uh, C space is getting full okay so this is the issue like in Windows you will be having uh, but if you use this prefix command okay so what it will do it will uh, create your environment in your uh, project for uh, you can say directory itself okay so let me show you so I have given the prefix now I have to uh, name my environment so let's uh, give our environment uh, called env and uh, here I have to define the Python version also uh, Python equal equal you can say 3.7 I will be using and here uh, hyphen y that means I want to you can say uh, give the permission okay in a one shot so now if I hit enter, so now if I hit enter, uh, so it will be uh, creating my uh, environment here, okay, in my project directory itself. So I will be waiting until it get created, okay. So guys, uh, you can see uh, my environment, uh, you can say has got created. Uh, and see, this is the environment folder, uh, it will be generated here. And uh, if you uh, like see, okay, so all the file would be here, okay, so whatever you can say, uh, you can say whenever you create it gets a virtual environment okay by using default command so if you go to your you can say uh, conda you can say location and a conda location and if you go to your environment you can say folder so you'll be see all the file okay all the file uh, would be here also so this is the environment i have uh, you can say uh, created now i have to activate the environment so for that i will be write conda uh, conda activate Uh, I'll be giving dot type and env uh, so if I hit enter so you'll be see uh, yeah it has you can say uh, it has been activated for me it's you can say it's a, a small name like just env but for your uh, okay but for yours it might be a long name okay it might be a folder location it is fine uh, you can keep it uh, like that okay because I have done some default setup so that's why uh, it looks like that now uh, what I will do I will uh, you can say create a setup file here okay